まーいやーはははははははハブロー、ヘブロー。How y'all doing, everyone? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Today is a bit of a weird day. Starting stream quite late. Ooh, ooh. I hope that's okay. But I was really on the fence on whether or not I wanted to stream today. Because I don't know. I was like, do I want to have a nice chill day? Do I want to just stream Final Fantasy? Or do I want to st start streaming? Legend of Zelda. And so I ended up just kind of being on the fence for several hours, and all of a sudden it was like very late, and I was like, oh, well, oops. <laughs> oh, well, it's okay though. I figure I did want to do a little stream before I went off on my weekend trip. I'm gonna be gone for a week. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you guys so much. It's gonna be so weird, but. Here it might also be nice to get the opportunity to focus on other stuff for a while. Hi, Crystal Fairy, Konkla, how you doing? I'm just currently leveling up some of my crafters. Another trip already, a lot of moving around. Yeah, I know, right? Fucking hell, there is just so much. It's just that, like, my mother is going to be off on a business trip. To Ireland for some conference something something and uh, so she was just like hey May can you like come home and make sure to water my plants while I'm gone and I was like oh, sure I guess figured it could also be a nice excuse to get away from home for a bit and uh, be out in the countryside and meet old friends from school you know and taking a weekend began yesterday taking an early weekend ah while I feel more rested, I also at the same time feel some feel more tired. Yeah, understandable. I get that feeling, honestly. Oof. Taking breaks is good though. Treat yourself from time to time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah. Ooh. I hope that you all had a nice midsummer as well, Christopher. If you've been celebrating that, at the very least, eating something, eating something nice. I go on a just rest, everything's done. Just worrying about the corrections you did on your thesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. Ooh. Oh, 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 Articulog? Articulog? What the fuck is that? Articulog? Oh! Art, activities, and archipelago. Huh! <laughs> That's actually super fun. I would love to visit that at some point. You need to visit it when you're in Stockholm? Yeah! At this point, I don't really know if I'm going to be visiting Stockholm this summer after all, since Siri was like... You know? So we'll see, we'll see. Even if I don't visit this summer, I will end up visiting at some point soonish. <laughs> Might even be for the best, honestly, if I don't end up visiting Stockholm this summer, because God knows I'm low on cash. <laughs> Maybe I could come and visit like in the fall. We will see what we say. <laughs> so many trips going around, like I will be going home now. If nothing else, we will meet up at NADCON. Yay! And then NADCON at the end of July. And then... Um, after that, there's not gonna be a lot. Mostly just same old. Then in the beginning of September, I'll be going to Copenhagen for a weekend to see the Trash Taste Show. <laughs> You might have landed your first contract job. Oh, Pog! Oh my gosh! Nice food. They grow up so fast. Let's go. Ooh, I'm so proud of my children. <laughs> Tell me about it. If you want to. You don't have to. Does it seem like a nice job? Also, what is a contract job? Is it just like a short-term job? I can't remember words. Terminology. 
was one of the three people interviewed for a creative engineer position for a research project. I know the professor who's part of it, so he put in some good words for me during the interview. Aww, that's nice. Let's go, Pog. Let's hope you get it, baby. Ah, I believe you are smart. You are capable. You are worthy of getting a cool, dope job. <laughs> I believe you can do it. How do I get the Google stamps now again? Oh, it's from doing that one. All official engineering jobs are currently under contract, so that's why it's called that. But it's also just for the project for the next four months, either half time or full time. Huh. Interesting. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. This wasn't really the focus of today's stream. This is just what I've been doing all day, essentially. I've just been having an extremely chill day of doing nothing at all, really. I did vacuum. <laughs> uh, and I did hang out with a friend for a short while, because she came over to visit, just to talk and vibe for a little while. But yeah, other than that, I've been doing literally nothing all day. I'm gonna make some cold brew tea for later. Oh, that sounds nice. Cold brew tea is good shit. Like juice and lemonade. I don't really make cold brew tea that often, because I do tend to really like warm tea, even when it's warm outside, which is uh, psychopath behavior, I know, but... Mm. <laughs> Let's see, I feel like... Where is it that I grab the Alliance Raid stuff now again? I think it's probably an old Charlian. It's always an old Charlian. That is what I've been wanting to do for a good while now. Like, I've been so, so, so looking forward to doing the Alliance Raids for Endwalker. Because... I may or may not have seen some spoilers, but you know, like, it's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, you know? It's, it's, it's fine. This is what I keep on telling myself, at least. Eh... Is it really an old Charlian? Is it this one? A mission in Mordona? Like that might be it. Mm -hmm. I also just felt like it wouldn't it wouldn't do to just like leave for my trip without having done at least one more stream. I've been streaming so rarely recently, and I feel really, really awful because I love streaming. You guys know that. So I just, I can't help myself. Okay, yes, this looks like it. The fresh-faced student's face lights up at the sight of you. Ah, May, welcome back. Who the fuck are you? I like that jacket, though. Gimme. Are you perchance here to see Kryle? I'm given to understand she has a task for which she desires your assistance. Okay. I shall fetch her at once. I wait a moment. Uh. Uh. I or May. <laughs> May, my thanks for coming. If you're now available, I'd like you and Raha to assist me in the task I've mentioned. But you're right, because she did mention that in the MSQ. I forgot. For you to call on May, I assume the task in question is somewhat more exci exciting than sorting through paperwork, which I'm pleased to add, I have finished. <laughs> so if May is ready, then so am I. Our venture to the bounty has only served to whet my appetite for fieldwork. Ah. Uh, I have done a bit more MSQ off-stream, because I feel like... 
these patch quests are a bit more slow paced, you know, and so I haven't really felt a super great urge to stream all of it. And I figured it might be nice to just kind of enjoy some of the main story on my own terms, just kind of taking it slow. <laughs> It's it's weird though because like I'm so used to I don't know it's the streamer brain you know of like oh I can turn this into content I can turn this into content and this and this and this and this and this and so you never really I at least I don't really allow myself to enjoy games just like on my own <laughs> I always just kind of tell myself like oh I want to play this game oh but if I'm gonna play it then I might as well stream it for content you know it's a bit of an evil circle and like if I want to play a game because I <sighs> you feel you don't relax or just vibe with it do you mean like the Final Fantasy post Endwalker story or just like games in general I mean neither really or well like the Final Fantasy yeah it's the streamer mindset really just <laughs> I, I just can't really bring myself to relax and play any game that seems interesting off stream, like on my own. Because, one, I do kind of feel like I'd enjoy it more if I were to share it with others. That's just kind of how I am. And also, too, if the game seems interesting to me, it would probably be fun to stream it. It's it's the it's a streamer grind set, man. I <laughs> I've been trying to like kind of undo that in my head and just playing some some games at least off stream. I started playing Potion Craft recently, uh, although that's not really story heavy or anything like that, uh, obviously. But uh, that's been quite fun. I've been playing some like you know random indie games and stuff because I do actually have like Xbox Game Pass. Because the whole family sharing network thing, Majiggy, came out a while back, and I've been sharing it with some friends. Um, and so, like, the Xbox Game Pass library is enormous. And so, I've been, like, slowly but surely just kind of exploring that and being like, Jesus fucking Christ, I have all of these games at my, <laughs> at my disposal. What the fuck? Yeah. I'll need to use that and, like, stream some of the games on there at some point as well. That would be fun. Okay, anyway. Not to oversell things, but I suspect you won't be disappointed. Ere I, del Ere I divulge the details, however, permit me to provide some background. I've missed this. <laughs> I've been barely streaming at all recently, and I've been having severe withdrawals. I've just been like, I want to stream. <laughs> As you know, our organization, the Students of Baldessian, was founded by my grandfather, Gallo. Our, our stated mission was to uncover the mysteries of Heindelin and interpret her will, particularly through the study of her gift to us. We've since learned the whole truth, and it might be said that we've fulfilled our mission, but our work is far from over. In the course of our endeavors, we've also sought to devise countermeasures against threats that come to light. Our involvement with the Warring Triad is an example of such. The Warring Triad. The Warring Triad. Oh right, those were the oh my god, the 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 Unicolai stuff, the that you do like side content stuff. Oh my god, <laughs> that was so long ago. It is my belief that in continuing to seek out the unknown and dealing with this and dealing with threats, we best carry on the student's mission. We best honor those we lost when the Isle of Val was destroyed. Hmm. Mm. I still need to do that, the Eureka stuff as well. Oh my god, it's... It, I barely scratched the surface of all of the fucking content that this game has to offer, honestly. It's overwhelming at times, not gonna lie. Forgive me, I didn't mean to darken the mood. In saying all this, I simply wanted to clarify our organization's purpose for a new age. In line with said purpose, I've been reviewing new requests, and one in particular jumped out at me comes from none other than Rambrose, the, of the Sons of St. Koinok. <gasps> Truly, has something happened in Mordona then? Roha, my beloved. I love you. So it would seem, and he wishes to entrust the matter to us. 
While his missive is sparse on details, he writes that it lies beyond the sun's expertise. Uncharted territory are the exact words he used. Hmm, well that sounds exciting. <laughs> I'd like you to meet with Rambrose and conduct a preliminary survey. Survey, what say you? Potato, potato. Go. Wonderful. When you're ready, pray make your way to Revenant's Toll. I shall let Rambrose know to receive you there. I must remain here to oversee our operations, but should it transpire that more hands are needed, don't hesitate to send word. Hi, Elytri, how you doing? Welcome, welcome in. La la small, yeah, la la small. Well, there's no time like the present. If you could go on ahead to Revenant's Toll, I shall make ready and then be on my way. We're doing some of the alliance raids for Endwalker, which I've been really, really looking forward to. Wah. More lore, more world building. Wah. I do already know that it heavily features like the 12 and stuff, so that's that's part of the reason why I'm so excited about it. Too. <laughs> also, on the whole topic of like, ugh, fucking. Uh, this game having an obscene amount of like side content to do. Look, look at all of these fucking quests that I have. There are so many. There's too many. Yeah, obviously I've removed a lot of these, otherwise this whole part of the screen would be completely cluttered, but it's... You only did the one, the first one before you stopped last time. Hope you enjoy Nodders. Yay! I hope so too. Wait, no. I'm supposed to be standing right here. Why did I even announce it? Rambrose! <gasps> there you are, May. It would seem we're early. Hey. My apologies for the wait. It's also that like so many of the so much of the side contents and like the side quests are locked behind uh, Disciple of the Hand slash Land uh, classes. So I've also been working quite a lot on leveling up those. Um, specifically, I've been focusing a lot on my Weaver class, which is now level sixty-three, you think? So still a far way to go, but we're getting there. Thankfully, there are like wonderful tutorials on like how to speed level classes and stuff so I'm like <laughs> Rambrose what a pleasure to see you again how have you been it's been 84 years <laughs> the pleasure is all mine my friend it, I've been well and it gladdens me to see that you are too now I know you have many demands upon your time so I shall explain the particulars of our request at once Recently, an explorer came to us who claimed to have discovered the Phantom Realm. Hmm? What's that? The Phantom Realm? So this is what you meant by uncharted territory. Please explain. Impotent. You're not familiar? Perhaps I'm surprising, given that it is a lesser-known legend. Okay, please tell. Ooh. This legend holds that, across Eorzea, there exists a realm that appears as a mirage. Though visible from a distance, it fades away as one draws near. While it has featured in myth in since ancient times, the realm's existence could not be proven, and thus it is seldom mentioned in literature. In spite of this, fueled by rumors of the occasional sighting, the myth has persisted, and continues to capture the hearts and minds of explorers. That you yourself should reach out to us. It is real, then. When first the explorer in question approached us, we doubted him. But we couldn't doubt the evidence of our senses. Nay, the realm is real, as you will soon see for yourselves. <laughs> so I'm guessing it's like a kind of parallel universe, maybe, or like a different realm where 12 live. Like, yours, he has own pantheon, I don't know. Good gods. Part of me still struggles to believe it, but we have no reason to doubt you. Ah. Suffice it to say, we are, eagle we are eager to see the realm, too. Hell yeah, baby. God knows I am. Whatever truth awaits, I pray you, f I pray you will succeed in finding it. 
Seek out the explorer, one Derek. He has seen more of the realm than us and should be willing to serve as your guide. I asked him to accompany me here, but he preferred to continue exploring on his own. He will be somewhere near the banks of Silvertier Lake, I expect. Understood. Our thanks, Rambros. Ah! Nah. <sighs> it's been so ungodly hot for these past couple of weeks. Although it has cooled down a little bit these past couple of days because it's been raining and stuff, but... <laughs> I'm still barely surviving. My body is too bad at heat regulation, man. Kill me. Come, let us split up and look for our explorer. Come. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help myself. Hi, Mayron! Konkwa! How you doing? Welcome, welcome in! Yubu! Phew, made it in time, yay! Although it's quite late over there for you, isn't it? Yubu, gomenne! I started streaming so late. It wasn't really my intention, but it kind of just ended up happening. Points of interest. Wait, no. I think- is this a different quest? Might be. The expl- no, it is. The explorer doesn't appear to be in the area. Make sure that you get enough sleep. Ubu. Don't want you to tire yourself out just for my sake. Ah. But I do appreciate you stopping by. Ah. Explorer doesn't appear to be in the area. God damn it, where are you? Baby Opo Opo? Wait, what the fuck? You see a small Opo Opo. It couldn't possibly be the, be the explorer. Or could it? <laughs> You've been missing quite a few streams lately. I mean, to be fair, I've barely been streaming lately, so... You haven't really missed a lot. Oppa, oppa. Monkey. Just in case you were entertaining the thought, May, that Oppa Oppa isn't our explorer. I have the man in question here with me. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> God damn it. It's a dude! Monkey. Oh, it's his little pet. Monkey! Oppo Oppo is the ruler of this land. I'm Derek, the one who discovered the Phantom Realm. Oh, well, he's a pretty boy, huh? My apologies for making you search for me. It's okay. He may be a pretty boy, but he ain't no prettier than my Graha Tia. <laughs> Curious about this creature, are you? I found him injured during one of my journeys and tended to him. Since then, he has taken to following me around. He's inquisitive, but otherwise harmless. So pray, pay him no mind. No thoughts, head empty. <laughs> you are the hero who delivered our star from doom, are you not? What good fortune that one as capable as you should lend her aid. Ah. I'm famous. The new Final Fantasy game has had quite positive reviews. I know, I really want to play it, but like I can't because I don't have a PS5 and it's so sad. <laughs> Hi, my Kotev, how you doing, Kongwa? Welcome, welcome in. 16 is real good, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I don't have a PS5. I have like some friends who have it and have started playing it, but I don't. You see, it's console only, yeah. Yeah. Didn't you know? I mean, given the way it looks, it's. I'd be surprised if a, a normal PC could even handle it. Even if it was available on PC as well, my, my computer would not be able to handle it. I do not have a good enough graphics card for that shit, man. Still need to get a get an update, but. Uh, when girls broke, it's unoptimized PS5 for. <laughs> Yeah. It's sad, but it is what it is. One day, maybe. You will. To be clear, our organization has yet to accept the commission. Before we can make a decision, we would conduct a preliminary survey. Will you guide us to the Phantom Realm? You still rocking that 1660? Nah, right now I actually have a 1080... 1080... Ti? I, I think? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's it, I think. Yeah, it's a 1080 at least. The 1080 plus something. Yeah. 
<laughs> of course, I will show you to the entrance at once. The gate to a realm long dreamed of by explorers. Yeah, it was a 1080 Ti. Yeah, I had a 1660 before, but now I have a 1080 Ti, which I've had for like a... Half a year, maybe, at this point? Because I got it from a friend. The gate to a realm long dreamed of by explorers. Oppo, oppo. downgraded? No, the 1080 Ti is like marginally better than the 1660 that I had. I had a 1660 Super, so like, what are you- Oh, what the fuck? You can walk on water? This man Jesus? Impressive, isn't it? When the gates manifested, so too did this magic, allowing one to thus walk upon water. What the fuck? This is just like a Rion J spell! <laughs> true, true. Someone conceived the means to do this at will? An intriguing individual. <laughs> well, uh. I told you, Opo Opo, ruler of the land. Hmm. It's perfectly safe. It's perfectly safe, I assure you. Come. Monkey! Opo Opo. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, so brain dead. No thoughts, head empty. Okay. Oh, what the? Yo! Ah! Okay. Well, I guess we just walk straight forward. Let's go, Graha. We're going on an adventure, baby! Oh my gosh! Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Surprised, Potat. By the Twelve, you truly can walk here. What magic is this? By what means is it perpetuated? My geek. Forgive me. <laughs> Let us continue on. Man's excited. Understandably so, this is really cool. New tea sets. Mm. <laughs> ah! Let's go. Into the unknown, into the unknown. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my gosh! Wasn't there the last time I was here? Oh, yo! This place is so pretty. This is the Phantom Realm. It's the symbols and colors of the twelve. Yeah. Steampunk nation. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. The umphalos. Huh. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the symbols of the twelve are carved at the base of the thingy. Wow. Sugoi. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Wonder. To think that the entrance would lie over Silver Tear Lake. There's nothing out of the ordinary with the environment. The sights, the sounds, the smells, all appear as they should in, as they should be in nature. That is to say, this place is no illusion. <laughs> Excites. I feel like a child. Giddy. <laughs> different areas, different colors. Is this maybe like the different abodes of the different... Oh, I don't know. I bid you welcome to the navel of the Phantom Realm. The Omphalos. Okay. So this is just like a connection point?
<laughs> Girl, hot tea is so excited. The Omphalos, you say this place is called. A name of my own conception, I confess. I felt we needed something to call it by. Lest you wonder, the word means navel in, in an ancient tongue. An allusion to Mordona's location in the heart of Aldenard. Uh huh. As you can see, there are man made structures, and the place appears well kept, yet there isn't a single soul in evidence. Hmm. Tis my hope that you will help me to shed light upon this realm, to learn who created it and to what end. This ain't steampunk, this is more Greek. I don't fucking know. I should also like to know why it has revealed itself now. Was it simply chance that kept it hidden, or something more? In any case, let us begin by taking a look around. E. Yeah, Greek or Roman? Mm -hmm. A Greco-Roman, I guess. <laughs> Mysterious monument, kind of akin to an etherite. Too far away, bitch. A stone monument has been erected here, by whose hand you cannot say. But the motif? The motifs wrought into its base appear familiar. Yeah, they're the symbols of the Twelve. Can't remember which symbols are which, but I know that they are. Pretty cool. Are these maybe like portals to other places? Enigmatic structure. The Opa Opo seems quite at home, wouldn't you say? How many times has Derek come here, I wonder? Or maybe the Opa Opo is from here. Ooh. A number of structures such as this can be seen in the area. What purpose could they possibly serve? The architecture is unlike anything seen in, in Eorzea. Truly exquisite stuff. Hmm. Uh. There's just something floating around there. Vantage point. Ah. Well, there's other stuff in the distance. Oh! Wait, is that Dal Dalamud? Wait. Crystal Tower? Dalamud? Is this just like really far up above Mordona? Hold on. It? Hmm. There's actually a theory that Romans built a lot of things and a bunch of knowledge was lost because people didn't know how to document and preserve that knowledge. Well, yeah, that sounds about right. Human incompetence has always been a thing, always will be. In the distance, you see what appears to be the Crystal Tower. Yeah! Though the clouds make it difficult to be sure, it would seem that you're in the sky above Silver Tier Lake. Yeah, that's what I'm saying! That's what I'm fucking saying, bro! No such isle could be seen from the outside, however. Yeah, so this is probably like some alternate realm. Kind of like existing parallel to ours, I guess. Like a spirit realm? I don't know. Having seen what my fellow students do, I can assure you that people still don't know how to document- EXACTLY! EXACTLY! That's what I'm fucking saying, man! Like, that doesn't surprise me in the slightest. Information will always end up being lost due to people just being incompetent and stupid. I'm incompetent and stupid. <laughs> Finished looking around, have you? What are your impressions? We have only had a cursory glance, but this is truly a mysterious place. The gleaming spire rising beyond the clouds. That is most certainly the Crystal Tower. Hmm. And judging by its aspect, we are at a considerable distance above Silver above Silver Tier Lake, which would suggest the gate we entered is a teleporter. Yeah. However, if this isle lies where it appears to be where it, if this isle lies where it appears to lie, then it couldn't have escaped the Battle of Silver Tier Skies unscathed. Which is to say we are in Mordona, 
and yet we are not. Tis as if we were displaced from our world, if only slightly. That's what I'm saying, bro! Displaced is an apt way to put it. Was there aught else you noticed? Aye. The motifs upon yonder structure, they are unmistakably the marks of the Twelve. Yeah! That's right! That's right! Ah. Oh, they're very pretty. By which I posit that this was cr created to be a place of worship. Well, that would make sense, yeah. But who created it, then? Yeah, but by whom? I cannot think of any who could have possibly built such grand premises, never mind magically conceal it. At least, not in the wake of the Battle of Silver Tear Skies. Aye, this is a mysterious place indeed. Hmm. Donking. Realm of the Gods. <laughs> Excites me. <laughs> well, it seems there is but one solution for our ignorance. A thorough investigation. Fuck okay. it. For this, we will, we will require more manpower and supplies, among other things. With your permission, we will confer with our representative, Kryl, and make the necessary arrangements for a formal investigation. Hi, Rob! Konfua! Yay! I'm super excited! I've been looking forward to doing this questline for so long! <laughs> if that is what must be done to commence your work in earnest, then by all means. I must bid farewell, gotta head to bed. Okay, good night, Veyron! Thank you for stopping by! Oyasumi nasai! Have a good one, yay. Unfortunately, I'll be away for a week, so no streams for an entire week, Sag. But I hope to see you when I come back, yay. Without further ado, let us return to Charlian. Hold, mortals. Oh shit! <gasps> oh, oh. Hey, yo. Oh. <gasps> Whomst of the- <gasps> Oh! What? What? Wait, what? It? Huh? <gasps> oh! Oh my gosh! Wait, are they gonna appear out of the- <gasps> Oh? Oh my gosh! Wait, what? Ah, what's happening? Ah! <laughs> You profane this sacred realm with your presence and must answer for your irreverence. Bitch? We just want answers. <gasps> Yo! Oh my god! Ah! <gasps> it's some of the twelve! I've always wondered this. Cause like... Since Hydaelyn, the gnat has kind of been like the progenitor god in a way, but also not really, she's just a primal. How did the Twelve come to be exactly? I am Beragot, the Builder. Like, how did the Twelve come to be? Were they- are they- are they like proper gods and not primals? Or are they also like ancient primals? Or- or like some ancient race of immortal beings? I don't fucking know. Beragot, the Builder. Beragot, then- the twelve are real? It is a mystery. <laughs> Let there be no doubt. We are not Simulacra born of mortal faith. Okay, so they're not primals. What are they then? Nay, we twelve are divinities true. I wonder if they know about Hydaelyn's existence and what they thought about it then in that case. Or if they were like a completely separate thing. And in Hydaelyn's absence, we are the star's rightful rulers. It's will. Yeah, okay, so of course they knew about Hydaelyn. Hmm. Closely have we watched mankind. And we have determined that you, champion of Hydaelyn, pose a threat to our ascension. Oh no. We were foolish to wander into our realm. 
We could destroy you with ease here and now. But as divinities, we must demonstrate grace and forbearance. <sighs> so cool. There is but one path. We must weigh this mortal's worth. Here, here. Let there be a trial. Hmm. While the mortal would invariably be destroyed, it would at least provide us with a diversion. What? You suddenly appear and expect us to simply comply with your whims? Of course, they're gods. That's how gods roll, man. Protest if you wish, but mortal logic means not to gods. You will abide by our laws. Lo, the gateway to our sanctums lies, lies open. Huh. Show us the strength of mankind. Show us the honor of mankind. Show us the spirit of mankind. If man would remain the master of its own destiny, then assemble your comrades and come. Come and prove your worthiness. Come. Ah! Interesting. A new challenger approaches. Seven hells. During my previous forays, nothing like this ever happened. I encountered not a single soul, and certainly not gods. And by their own admission, they mean to take over the star. What are we to do? Well, we, we kick their asses. The situation has indeed taken an unexpected turn. But we must try to think clearly. Twelve have long been revered and worshipped in Eorzea, and myths about them abound. But to my knowledge, they have never thus appeared so openly before people. I wonder how the myths about them came to be in that case. For these beings to suddenly reveal themselves just when we're here, claim supremacy over the star and challenge May to a trial? Too much about this feels odd and it gives me pause. Fair enough. Yet, as it, as it stands, it seems we can't dismiss the threats either. Hmm. Whatever they are, if they're issuing a challenge, then challenge accepted. Gaius van Belzar once said that the Twelve Two were simply primals. This is turning out to be another strange affair. Hmm... Are they truly, though? Tis true that even Heidelin and Zodiac were primals, and we cannot discount the possibility, but we know too little to draw conclusions. In any event, if these beings seek dominion over the star as they say, what happens here may have far-reaching implications. To that end, I believe we should take action. Suffice it, suffice it to say that you are with me? Of course. Hmm. Then the students of Baldessian will officially tend to the situation? Aye. In the course of studying the star's mysteries, we have undertaken no deal. We have undertaken to deal with any threats that may arise. This is no different. Well then. I'm just gonna BRB real quick and grab something to eat because I'm starving. I did have dinner before you ask, before you say anything. It's just that it's been a while. Okay? I ate a little late night snack.
got some oats mixed with yogurt. Eh, that will have to do. It do be a nice and simple little snack. Ah. Mm -hmm. Right. Let us deliberate a course of action. Derek, know you aught of these being sanctums? Aye. They are domains in the Phantom Realm that lie beyond each gate. I've explored each. I've explored them all. Oh, okay. Hmm. How the fuck? Perhaps due to etheric instability, there are times when one can enter when ordinarily one cannot. But to have seen the way has been opened for us. While I encountered no gods during my previous forays, I saw enough to know my way around. I am but a humble explorer, and I cannot con <laughs> cannot contend with gods. But if you would be willing to protect me, I will serve as your guide. Assemble your comrades, Beragot bade us. Alliance raid, let's go! As strong as I know you are, we know little and less about our foes. Neither their strength nor their true nature would be decidedly reckless to contend with them unprepared. Indeed. And so, as much as I would like to accompany you, I shall do what affords us the best chance of victory. While you set forth to answer the gods' challenge, I will work behind the scenes in my capacity as a student. For one, I, it would behoove us to arm ourselves with knowledge about the Twelve, and I shall begin by apprising Kryl of the situation. Yeah, so Kryl, we went on that mission that you uh, sent us on, and it turns out that the gods are angry at us and want to kill us. Uh, so we're gonna fight them. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so like, the gods are real, and uh, the warrior light is like, Fighting him as we speak. Uh, uh huh. Yeah, they must be Greek gods. Of course, they're inspired by the Greek gods. It's always the Greek gods. They're always so arrogant, but you know, powerful and blah blah blah. I mean, Greek mythology and Roman mythology and all of that is super interesting because the the characters, if you will, are just so multifaceted. Shall we say it? And it's always nice when uh, fantastical pantheons and stuff are inspired by them in turn. Because there's just so many things that you can draw inspiration from, you know? Not only from like Greco-Roman culture, but also like from other cultures. Fun fact, Zeus is among other things the god of hospitality. <laughs> ha! Bullshit! Ain't nobody ever heard a bigger lie than that! What the fuck? Fucked up. I don't trust it. I don't trust it in the slightest. <laughs> hmm. I guess, but... Eh. By thus utilizing our resources to the fullest, we shall overcome whatever trials await. Ah. Let's go! Raha, I love you. More like God of putting people in the hospital, uh huh. Don't trust it, but it is the case. Uh. <gasps> ah, let's go! Aglaia. Uh, uh, Aglaia. Hmm. Enter Aglaia. Eh. Alliance. Wait. Are raids under alliance raids? Yeah, yeah, they are. In the course of investigating the legendary Phantom Realm on behalf of the students of Baldesian, we have encountered four mysterious beings who claim to be of the Twelve, the guardian deities of Eorzean myth. They declare that, in Hydaelyn's absence, they are the rightful rulers. Hold on. They are the rightful rulers of the Star, and you must prove your strength if mankind is to remain the master of its own destiny. 
While you know precious little about these self-proclaimed divinities, the potential threat they pose cannot be, cannot be denied. So it is that you resolve to, to answer their challenge and prepare for a foray into their sanctity. Average wait time more than 30 minutes? Ah! <sighs> Fuck me. Okay, well... Pain. Pain pickle. <laughs> Thirty minutes. Uh... Pain and suffering, y'all. Well, what do we want to do in the meantime? But wait, no. More than 30 minutes, but it's already filled up a bunch. Wait, hmm. Hmm. We just need seven D DPSs. Hmm. Is the average wait time thingy being false? Hmm. Hmm. Might be fine. We shall see. Usually there's never a lack of DPS. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, it's not that late either. And it's a Saturday, so like, uh. We'll see, we'll see. Hopefully people end up joining. In the meantime, what do we want to do? <laughs> Mm. Can't believe all DPS players got a life. Yeah, that sounds fucking cringe. What the hell? Fake. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. This place is very pretty though. While waiting, I guess we can do some other questing. Let's see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. How about cat pics? Oh hell yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> mm. Oh god, someone in the Discord server I am on was just like, Oh, I had to wait 50 minutes to get into Aglaya. <laughs> I don't like those odds. I don't like those odds at all. Ah! Pain. Ah, we'll see. Hopefully it won't be that bad. Um. Yeah. Be goof. Actually, the biggest of oofs. In fact. Jesus Christ. Please, game, let me in. Please, I beg of you. Please, let me in. <gasps> Cutting! Oh my gosh! Ooh. Look at this. Cutting! Oh my god. Oh, baby. She's beautiful. Oh, she's so cute. Uh. Oh, she's so beautiful. Look at that handsome boy. Oh, god <laughs> Bro, you're killing me. Oh my god. Oh, what are those? Tiny melons? Cucumbers? The fuck are they? Eh? I love this cat. He looks so derpy. 
So extremely derpy. Oh my god. I'm in love. Oh god, what is this? Hold on. Oh, shit! Let's go! Actually, Q-pop? Fuck yeah! Please let me in! The cat picks worked! The cat picks worked! Ah! Please, please, heal learn DPS, please, please answer. I will cry. Please, please, please! I just wanna get in! Please! Ah! DPS! DPS! I swear to god! Sir? Sir? I... Mm. No! Okay, 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 okay. Let me in! Let me in! Please. Please. I will cry. Please. Guys. Come on. People. I was about to send the Yamato cat. Ah! Please. Please. Game. Oh, I should mend my shit. Please! Tank! Healer! People! People! I beg of you! Let me in! I don't wanna have to wait- I don't wanna have to wait for like 50 minutes! Please! 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 Tank! Please! No! <laughs> Why are we here just to suffer? Ah! <laughs> this game keeps on edging me, I swear to god. Please. Please. Please, game. Please. Have mercy on me. I am but one woman. Please. Have mercy on my frail Kokoro. Please, DPS, please, please, sir, sir. Can you please? Yeah, let's go! We in, baby, we in! Woo! Ha! Ah, third time's a fucking charm. Ah! Oh God, we had we have a French person in the party. Oh no. <laughs> oh, this looks so fucking cool. Okay, okay. Oh! Oh no, we have a French. Oh no, we have two French people! Oh god! You know what? It's fine. This is fine. Oh, the music is so good. Fuck! <laughs> it's being laggy as hell with all of these people. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, hopefully no one DCs. You are resolved to face me. Voices. Yo. The fucking lag though. Oh my god. Why is it so laggy? It's because of all of the people, I'm guessing. Come, children of man. Hopefully the lag won't be too much of an issue. Oh. Hopefully the lag won't be too much of an issue, I say, and it is being a huge issue right now. Oh boy. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Why is it being so laggy though? Is it possible to check your ping in the game somehow? Like it should be. Before my 
This dude really has the vibe of Zeus. Like, the hammer, the electricity, the big buff dude. Come on. Come on. Contributes to society. True. Where am I supposed to stand? I can't tell. I have no idea. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Does it like that? I see. Seems like the lag has fixed itself as well right now, so that's good. I'm so happy that there's some voice acting in these alliance ranks as well. There we go. Good shit. Loud to ground. Oh, what the? Uh. Lag. Oh my lord. Is the lag affecting the stream as well, guys, or is it okay? Wow. It's fine on stream? Okay, that's good. That's the important thing, at least. I haven't died yet, though, which I feel is kind of commendable. <laughs> So cool. I love it. Who else will we get to fight? <sighs> I'm guessing that we're gonna fight the four ones that we saw. Builder has been made to yield. Oh wait, is it is this yeah it's Ralgar! Oh my god! I was like, wait, bird? Wait, wait, Ralgar, let's go! Oh, oh he has a bird servant dude. Yo, Ralgar's emissary. Oh my god. Ah it's so fucking cool that we get to fight the gods that we've like heard of and have like seen references to throughout the entire game. Oh, it's so fucking cool. I love it. God, I love this game sometimes. No, who am I kidding? God, I love this game. <laughs> I 
have no idea what the fuck is happening though. Like, It's honestly a miracle that I'm not fucking uh, dead yet. Truly don't get it, but I'm not complaining. Oh, when do we fight him on his open part? Oh. Come, show me the strength. This isn't side content. This is lore. True, true. Upon the Wait, ground, it? You someone did a countdown. <laughs> also, welcome, welcome, Sir Carrot. Way kind of side content, I guess. Okay, good. I'm experiencing some intense lag, unfortunately, which fucking sucks. But it hasn't really gotten in the way of the Alliance raid that much yet. Wandering star, descend and destroy. Damn, you can walk out on the fingers. Inga. Keep my reverence system. Mm. Yeah, you're supposed to stand here so that Yeah. You don't fall off. Yep. Talk about how I am. Oh, honey. Oh, well, that's okay. I hope you enjoy the stream, though. You can take your time and relax a bit here. Ooh. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. 
side content because side content isn't voiced and side content is always non-canon. Oh, that's fine. That's true. That's yeah, I guess. I didn't really know what to name this game though, so it's kind of what happened, but. Ah, uh, thank you for the hit pads. Uh. An alliance, are dead. Oh. <laughs> also, question, guys, if any of you guys know, ah, uh, I'm supposed to run into this. Yeah. I was wondering, like, it, do I have to have done Ooh, MSQ stuff? in order to um, be able to do the next set of the alliance raids, or can I just do that? Come, mortal. Enter Ooh. my realm, if you dare. Come, mortal. You know, I'll be the first to admit that I'm a lonely soul, and the last to admit I need a hand to hold. That's why I don't want to talk about it. No, baby. It'd be like that. Hmm. Oh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. But just know that, you know, there's people out there who care for you. Mm -hmm. And you can always find solace in Libio games, I guess. <laughs> oh. oh, this place looks so cool. Think you can do them all at once? Yay! Okay, nice. I figured it would be nice to have done this before 6.5 drops, since I've been told that like doing the alliance raids like upon release is some of the most fun stuff that you can do. <laughs> Just the chaos of no one understanding any of the mechanics or knowing what's happening. I figure that's very fun. Because no one knows what will happen. Yeah, exactly. It's fun. Our flames will consume you.
Azima, goddess of the sun. Oh. You will be scoured by the light of the sun. I want to worship this god, yeah. Oh, the designs of the 12 are so cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, I was not prepared. What the fuck? Crimson in fire woke. must do them on the release and I mean patch day servers go live again and then you do them. Mm. We'll see if I'm able to do that. Might be hard if I'm busy on the patch day or something. Is it just a mirage? Oh or something more. Uh So much effort into these. Oh! Well, she's spinning. Well, she's spinning. Okay. Ah! Did you not take a day off for that? Bro, I'm a student. Students don't have days off. <laughs> we on that grind, baby. Other stuff planned. Who knows? We don't know when patch day for 6.5 is yet, do we? Maybe we do. I don't know. I don't It's probably gonna be like in a couple of months at least. is doing pretty well, honestly. No one's dead. While there are dead people, or were dead people. Well, that's nice, we're doing something, right? I think. Ah! <laughs> I quite want to
I don't need to avoid AoEs. I got shields for days, baby. <laughs> You would like the music in the, in the next boss? Ooh. Is it just a mirage? I bet I will. Or something more. Honestly, I've never understood like where people figure out where they're supposed to stay. <laughs> it's something. I don't really know. Totally not like my inventory is super full because I've been crafting a bunch. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh, it's chaos. Mother Crystal Battle Track is amazing. Yeah. Null, keeper of the realm of the living. Nald. I am Thal. Oh yeah, Nald and Thal. Oh. Ooh. Oh, the music! Prepare to be judged, Ooh. children of man. Oh, okay. Fuck yeah. This music, Rat Jam. Battle con commencing soon. Ah, people! Don't start yet. Sick! Oh, it's so good! Fuck! Who's me tanking exactly? So cool! This is probably my favorite alliance race series yet. Heat above, flames below. Oh, okay, so when you're in like the uh, dark place, you go inside. Oh, I'm the
these Yum. Uh, <laughs> they're just throwing a bunch of fucking meteors at us! Ah! Please! Yum. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> it's so cool that it's like two people in one. Nal Thal. I like that. The designs of the 12 are so good. Gosh. Will you weather my trial? Will you weather my trial? Okay. What is it doing now? One, two. I don't know what's happening. Okay. I see. Thank you for the res. So much, so much effort into these lines. Right. Gotta go, have a good stream, cat. Let's go. Okay, bye bye. Oh, we all died. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what did we do wrong? Fuck. Stack markers on top of each other wiped our party. You had double stacks and that killed your group. Oh, oh, well, shit.
go again. Now I think I'm a bit more equipped for the fight, at least. I think. I'm not sure. We'll see. So bear witness to our minds. Fucking banger song. guys until the fucking soundtrack for Endwalker finally comes out. I'm going to be listening to so much of that. Holy shit. You guys have no idea. I just know for a fact that my Spotify rap this year is going to be filled with fucking Final Fantasy music. <laughs> her cat is gone since a year now and you still find her hair sometimes. Aww. Honestly, like, when you have a cat, you're never gonna get rid of the hair. It's all Same as like with glitter. If you ever play with glitter stuff, you will never ever get rid of it. It will always be there. It's impossible to get rid of. Same thing with cat hair and dog hair. It's just the unwritten rule of having cats, honestly. Unless you get like a. I guess. Okay, <clears throat> so this was. That, and then... I guess? Was it like this? Yeah, stand here, and then away from that, so you don't end up with the AoE there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only just begun. Wait, you can see above them what they are gonna be actually. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, this isn't too on. Awesome. Yeah, no, it's not. The, the balance. So now, are we supposed to? I don't. I don't get it. Are we supposed to make sure that like half and half, and on each, or? The moment of judgment is come. Wait, no, I think, like, the dudes that we defeat weigh a bit, and now we're supposed to divide the alliance accordingly so that it's equal weight on both sides. Okay. That would make sense. So many thingies. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me everything. <clears throat> Give me the stuff. I think your cat is still watching, waiting for you. No, that is a really cute sentence. Last thing you said to her was, I'm sure we will meet again. Aww. Hmm. Stop. Sad. That's really sweet, though. It seems you loved your cat a lot. You're safe! Thank goodness! I rushed here as soon as I heard the tidings from Raha. Is this true? Beings claiming to be the Twelve have appeared? Yep. You defeated them all? Incredible! <laughs> I had no doubt that you would succeed, but I'm no less impressed for it. See? So I met God and I slapped him in the face. Yeah, baby! <laughs> what did he say? Seldom have I felt such exhilaration. Ah. Yeah, it's like different colors for different elements, kind of, I guess. 
at them. The dudes. They look so cool. Their designs are really, really cool. The god of your choosing to give you minor buffs after all during char character creation. Yeah, yeah. I loved her so much I have a tattoo. Aww. Ivo. Not cute. To think that the day would come that we would put on acts. But that we would put on an act for men. I must say, Beregot, you play the villain's role to perfection. Oh, oh, okay, so they were just fucking around. Yaha. Uh -huh. But why? Hmm. Come now, master. I merely did what was necessary to compel the mortals to confront us. Hmm. Azema, ooh, mommy. <laughs> oh, she's single? She's single? I mean, is she single? Ah, <laughs> still, it pained me to speak to our beloved children so unkindly. Oh, his halo were made of nails? Oh, were they? Nice. Because he's the builder. Oh, my god. So you say, Azema. Yet you seemed happy enough to fight them. You did not forget the true purpose of the trial, I hope. <clears throat> well, I couldn't help but be excited. And do not tell me you felt differently. Consider yourselves fortunate, children. Tis rare indeed to see Nalthal in such high spirits. What in the world is happening? Didn't you say you had defeated them? Did they manage to flee? Or perhaps were resummoned? What is going on? I'm so confused right now. Put up your weapons. You have not to fear from us. Rest assured, we are not summoned beings. We do not drain the land of Aether, nor do we take men into our thrall. Huh. So they're not primals. And what the fuck are they? Huh. But what of the gods who were summoned during the calamity? The ones Master Louisois called forth to protect the to protect the realm. Oh yeah, he did that. That was not us, but a primal born from of your fervent prayers for salvation. Ah. Indeed, that the worst of the calamity was averted and the realm restored in its aftermath was a direct testament to the power of your hopes. Ah. Uh -huh. Makes sense, I guess. If you aren't primals, then what are you? Do you truly intend to rule the world? Why choose to appear before us now? Yeah, if you aren't primals, then what the fuck are you? <laughs> are they truly gods? What is the definition of a god in this universe, then? Just as men harbor hopes, so too do we gods. To realize our aspirations, tis essential that we do battle with you. Thus did I falsely claim that we sought to rule the world. It was deceitful conduct unworthy of a divinity, and I must apologize. Not only for that, but for using my power to do harm besides. Hmm. Kryl is just thinking. These hopes of yours, won't you tell us what they are? We cannot. If you wish to know the truth, you must discover it for yourselves. God damn it. Ah, powerful beings are always like, oh, we can't give you all of the answers even though we know everything. Me, 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 me. It is not easy to move forward when there is seemingly no destination. But if you press on, you will eventually arrive at the answers you seek. Aye, you will understand why we hold our peace, and far more besides. You will learn the very truth of our existence. Hey, yo, lore, Pog. <laughs> Go forth, mortals, and seek knowledge of us. And when the tr and when the time is right, we shall meet again in this place. So I'm guessing what they did was like a test of strength of us to see if we were worthy of something. Uh. So weird. Where did they come from if they're not primals? Have they always been there, like even before the Sundering? 
Did they come to be only afterwards? I'm so confused! Before I leave the protection of the world to the Twelve, I prefer to destroy everyone because they didn't even lift a finger at all at <laughs> the events that could have destroyed the world. Yeah! Uh, I guess it's beneath them or something. I don't fucking know. As if hearing about your battling the Twelve weren't shocking enough to have them appear the before my very eyes. Suffice it to say, it's been an interesting day. <laughs> While much about them remains shrouded in mystery, at least they seem open to reason. In considering our next step, I should very much like to hear your detailed account of them. Or there are a set of rules they are forced to follow, yeah? Right after I have a word with our clients, that is. Please give me a moment to introduce myself, and then we can review the situation. So what the hell happened? Oh, anyway, my name's Carl. <laughs> a divine dilemma. Greetings, I'm Kryl of the Students of Baldessian. Do I have the pleasure of addressing Derek, the explorer who sought aid in investigating this place? And the monkey! Monkey. No, I think they're just lazy. Hi, I'm Derek, and this here is the baby Opopo. <laughs> No name for it? Come on, dude, you gotta name it something. Yes, I can see that. Doesn't it have a name? It does? Uh, none that I know of, nor would I presume to bestow one, for that would be condescending. Eh? I see. That's very considerate of you. I, I, I guess? I don't know. So, I understand you explore the various phantom realms with Derek. Will you recount me will you recount to me the experience? Yeah, so like Where the fuck do you even begin? <laughs> so while the gods tested you sorely, you did not sense any malicious intent. As Beragot said, they wished to not they wished to do battle with us, but it would seem they did not necessarily wish to cause us harm. Hmm. Though much and more about this perplexus, may have to safe to assume that they are not primals. As you may recall, Living Way once told us that the art of summoning as taught by the Asians incorporates the fervent desire to assimilate others into one's belief. Thus do the resultant primals seek to enthrall worshippers, who in turn seek to grow their ranks. But these beings appear to harbor no such desire. If they are primals, then they are unlike those that have been summoned in recent memory. We might suppose that they were created in antiquity in like manner to Hydaelyn, but there is no way to prove it. Hmm. Who could they possibly be? And why do they desire battle with man? Maybe they just wanna fuck around and find out? <laughs> ah, always the flashbacks to my beloved Emmett self! <laughs> Even if you're a little Eorzea. You know, precious little. The true identities of the Twelve, for instance. Cause he knew. Of course he knew. Motherfucker knew everything. How did he find out though, I wonder? Hmm. Emmet Selk knew. Did the other Asians know? Emmet Selk did say that, didn't he? By which we may assume he knew the truth, and challenged you to seek it out too. Suffice it to say, you'll do so, of course. Of course, it's what my beloved husband told me to do, so like, duh. Insofar as we can ascertain, this is a matter which has implications for the entire star. In light of this, the students of Baldessian formally accept the commission. We will investigate the Phantom Realm and the beings who call themselves the Twelve. I'm pleased to hear that. Thank you. Without further ado, then, I will take a look around. There are a few things I'm curious about. Then, with your permission, I will take myself around Eorzea and investigate the worship of those gods we encountered. May, Derek, seeing as you've already seen this place, would you care to accompany me? Ah. By all means, in which case... He walked the world because he had the Azim stone and thought it would be prudent to do so. Yeah. He wanted to honor his long lost friend. 
<laughs> no, don't do this to me. Uh. <laughs> Could you stay here with Kryle, my friend? It wouldn't do to leave a fair maiden alone. <laughs> it wouldn't do to leave a fair maiden alone, and so I will send this monkey with you. <laughs> I shall be glad for the company. Take care then, and good luck. Feels like Crime is always left behind whenever we whenever we go on adventures and such. Doesn't she get lonely? I wonder. So, to explain my plan, it is believed that the Twelve were already worshipped during the Third Astral Era, when the Allegan Empire flourished. Come the Fifth Astral Era, those nations that fought in the War of the Magi each took one of the Twelve as a guardian deity. This practice has continued to the present day in, a in Eorzea, with some notable regional differences. For instance, Ishgardians hold Haloni as absolute, while Charlians enjoy a moderate relationship with Thalia. By visiting various locations in Eorzea and learning about the Twelve as they are worshipped, I hope to identify any similarities or differences between them and the, things we en and the beings we encountered. In doing so, I believe we will draw closer to the truth of their identities. For our first destination, I propose we take ourselves to Ralgar's Reach. The place is holy ground for worshippers of the Destroyer and promises to yield useful details. Yeah. Give up. Bitch. Man, I'm running out of either of tickets. Oh no. We go up here. does look like him. Actually, it's a pretty good depiction. Hmm. Interesting. I'm happy that, like, with this we're honoring what Emmett Salk told us to do in exploring the world and learning about its secrets. Emmett could still live. I mean, we have talked to him instead of fighting him. We could have talked to him instead of fighting him. I mean... Yeah. If he hadn't died and returned to the live stream when we defeated him at the end of Shadowbringers, then he never would have recovered his memories of our time in Elphys with him. For one. And like... I don't know. I feel like it was probably good for him to finally be put to rest. Because, you know, being alive, walking the star for eons, millennia, I don't even know how long, will drive anyone a bit insane. I feel like he probably wanted to end it, <laughs> you know? But I get you, yeah. There you are, May. This place served as the base for, of operations for your investigation into Omega, did it not? How delightful to be here together. If you don't mind my making an observation, it seems you enjoy traveling with company. Of course! I do. It's something I dreamed of for a long time. I love him. My husband. There's nothing like traveling with good friends. Me. Is that so? What of yourself? Do you normally travel alone? Aye. In my wanderings, I much prefer to have solitude. Not that I avoid people or communities, mind you. As a matter of fact, I've been here before, on the trail of the Phantom Realm. Hmm. Now that I think on it, 
More often than not, those places where Phantom Realm sightings are known to occur have a tradition of Twelve worship. And I dare to hope that we are on the right track. As I'm sure you know, Ralgar's Reach is home to the Temple of the Fist, the ancient headquarters of the Fist of Ralgar. E. Raised by the Mad King Theodoric, the temple lay abandoned before the Alamegan Resistance claimed it for its operations. While I doubt that much literature has survived over, over the years, the people here may possess some knowledge of the local faith. So let's split up and make inquiries, and reconvene here afterwards to share findings. Okay. Bloodstorm. Is that the name of his crest? You read the words inscribed on the monument. A storm of blood approaches fast. Hells open, heavens weep. For no one's soul doth lie beyond the measure of his reach. <laughs> Once upon a time, Lise explained to you their meaning. Now we must prepare ourselves for the strife and sorrow that will inevitably come. Hmm. Interesting. Also, a storm of blood. <laughs> no resistance fighter. I feel Kofla! It's the Fuami! Yay! Oh, if it isn't May! Is this man perchance a friend of yours? When last he visited, he shared with me the tales he heard on his journeys, and what amazing tales they were. If you've time, I'd love to hear both of your stories. Alas, we're in some haste. We're investigating the worship of Ralgar and seek literature and seek literature on the subject, religious texts and the like. Can any still be found here? Me and my sleep schedule, it's 5.41 AM. Oh my god, bro, honey. Man, pets. Ooh. I would say go to sleep, but obviously I'm guessing you've tried <laughs> to no avail. Ooh. I hope you managed to get some sleep at the very least. <laughs> Didn't even do anything productive? Gosh. You know, sometimes it'd be like that. In this godforsaken heat, it's become so hard for me to like fall asleep. I don't know why, but like when it's warm, it's so hard to fall asleep. It's much easier to fall asleep when it's cold outside, you know? I will lurk though, so I'll try sleeping. Mm. You do that. Good. Hopefully maybe having Streamland can serve as some nice ASMR for you. <laughs> Just about all of it is gone, sadly. Destroyed by the Empire, if not the Mad King before that. What is hot for you in Celsius? Mm. For me, I guess like 25 degrees Celsius? Like, you know, I... Obviously, that's not actually really hot for a lot of people, but I grew up in Sweden, up north, you know? It's subjective. But, like, the worst kind of hot is when it's like 20 plus and it's humid and, like, there's barely any wind, so there's not really any breeze to really, you know, relieve the torture <laughs> and agony. Um, so, yeah. I think he had that memories when we were fighting him. I thought maybe that they were just dreams because in Elpis he said, Do not squander it, the legacy I leave you. And when we summoned him, he told us to go to the places where maybe is that legacy and remember Emmett's really old. I mean, yes, but I don't. I feel like he probably didn't remember, and it's mostly just like his sentimentality and his um, connection to Asm and the fact that he saw Asm in us more than anything else. I feel like Hisladeus, the thing that Hisladeus said, that like, you know, people's memories that have been removed by etherical manipulation are restored when they return to the uh, live stream stuff. I, I don't know. But yeah. It's the humidity. Here at Haver, just 28 degrees Celsius during the night. Oh god. Mmm. Pain. Pain, 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 pain and suffering. I hate that. <laughs> Let's see. 
But we haven't lost everything. The mighty image of the destroyer, the tales we share at the campfire, like the legend of our nation's founding. We still have these things, and they were a source of great comfort and strength to us in our darkest moments. So anyway, enjoy. Yeah, I will do so. Bye bye, Theo. Oyasumi. You tried to get some rest. Mwah. I see. If you don't mind, I would be obliged to hear your stories this time. May, rest assured I have this well in hand. Feel free to carry on as you were. Thank you for lurking, Theo. Good night. Sleep well. <laughs> Who else can I ask? Oh, up there. Scholarly woman. Oh, I like that outfit. It's cute. Yes. If you have business, please make it quick. I'm due to meet with someone any moment now. Forgive me my delay. Oh? Why? If it isn't the abdu- the adventurer who kindly escorted me to the temple of the fir to the temple of the fist are you studying monks too perchance if so you ought to work together with me and my colleague here few things are finer than wo than joining heads with like-minded folk no i'm a bit busy actually right now looking into other stuff ooh researching the worship of the destroyer you said you say, why didn't you mention it sooner? This is a copy of Destructivity, a scripture of the Fist of Ralgar. The original is one of the few texts that survived the temple's rising, and is in the safekeeping of one Professor Eric. If we go into 7.0 and it's referenced there, hmm. Well, I highly doubt it, but we can always dream. Would be something. I went to the thro I went to the trouble of having this made for my colleague, only for her to say she doesn't need it. So I will offer it to you instead. <laughs> Ugh! Lest you forget, this is your passion, not mine. I'm simply assisting you as a favor, and I'd thank you not to put us in danger. Ah! But danger is a crucible in which the monk tempers body and mind. Ah! So sublime, monks. This woman has a kink. <laughs> Fucking nerd. Well, we'd best return to our work. Till next time, adventure. Danny. someone I can play triple triad with. Triple triad. Triple triad, triple triad, triple triad. Ooh, ooh. Howdy. Mm -mm -mm. All open and plus. Fat chocobo! Oh my gosh, cute. Mm -hmm. I wish we could get our villain act at some point. Mmm, imagine. That would be something, huh?
Oh, now he's got different cards, huh? That's true. Mm. Card. Oh my gosh. Alpha, my beloved. Clickbaited. I saw a triple triad thumbnail, but there's no triple triad. No, I'm sorry, non-fungible taco. I was playing triple triad literally just a moment ago. <laughs> welcome, welcome in anyway. How you doing? <laughs> it's nice to meet you regardless. I do play a lot of triple triad, usually, but... <laughs> May, what were you able to learn? Right now we're doing some of the Endwalker Alliance raid story. Evil. A copy of one of the scriptures, you say? A moment while I skim while I skim over it. Ha, nerd. I see. This chapter appears to be a record of the construction of the great image of Ralgar, written in a style that suggests folklore was committed to parchment. Oh. When the, deluge, when the deluge of the Sixth Umbral Calamity threatened Eorzea, the ancestors of the Alamegans were guided by safety. Were guided to safety by a comet. Huh. Believing that it was sent by Ralgar, they came to hold him in the highest. This much of the tale I had been familiar with. But according to the scripture, among those refugees who followed the comet, some claimed to have caught sight of Ralgar himself. Their accounts were passed down through the centuries, and worshippers of the Destroyer pieced them together to give shapes to yonder statue. And I mean, it looks a lot like him. I must say, it bears more than a passing resemblance to the being we encountered. Were that Ralgar a primal, the explanation for the, similar for the similarities would be simple. Yeah. That is, the statue gives rise to a unified interpretation of Ralgar's appearance, which in turn lends form to the true... to the primal. But... However, this fails to account for what inspired the likeness in the first place. If the scripture is to be believed, it was the sightings during the Sixth Umbral Calamity. Yet, for those witnesses to be able to recognize Ralgar, they would have needed an agreed-upon idea of his appearance beforehand. If we then consider the history of, of Twelve Worship, that it already existed in the Third Astral Era, it would not be ridiculous to think that these divinities existed even prior to that. Hmm. These bitches old, man. So the question is, did these beings give rise to their respective fates, or are they primals born of them? I don't know. I thought we had made it clear. We are not summoned beings. Oh shit! Is he talking through the- wait, 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 eh? Hey yo! Is it safe for them to just appear like this? Hello? Oh, they- oh! <laughs> They're in the form of like little- okay. Hawk with Ralgar's voice. Cool. Since time immemorial, our domains have lain scattered across Eorzea. As a matter of fact, one of those in which you set foot is nearby. It is not unusual for mortals to glimpse us. 
that voice. Could they be? What the fuck? Indeed, I am Beregot, and the hawk beside me is Valgar. I shall elaborate upon my master's explanation. Cool! What the fuck? We thus disguise ourselves when we wish to observe the world without, for being seen in our true forms would violate our laws of conduct. Conduct. Makes sense. Yet, though we similarly disguise our sanctums, veiling them in illusion, rents are known to manifest when the surrounding ether is unstable. In such a time, should a gifted mortal chance to be near, they may inadvertently catch sight of us. What the fuck? Of course! During an umbral calamity, etheric imbalance occurs on a star-wide scale, the ideal condition for seeing the Phantom Realm. Precisely how many times we have been seen, we ourselves may not have no way of knowing, but I, that is a sound assumption to make. Oh, that's so cool. Well, Beregot, I believe that much shall suffice by way of an apology for your, for our deception. Shall we? <laughs> Indeed, that is all we have. We are at liberty to reveal. Fare you well, children of man. Oh. Bye bye. Oh, I love this. This quest line is so cool. Ah! Interesting. So I guess they're not primals then? What are they? Ah! Oh, what the fuck? What are you? What are you gay? You are gay. Aside from their reticence when it concerns their identity and objective, these divinities are certainly approachable. Oh, well that's nice, I guess. If what they said was true, and their worship can be traced back to their sightings, it would serve to explain one thing. According to my research, in the field of comparative, in the field of comparative mythology, Ralgar is often observed to bear many similarities to Ramu. Assuming both were inspired by the Ralgar of the Phantom Realm, their divergence may be attributable to differences in culture between man and sylph. That's true. So you believe that they gave rise to the prevailing fates of Eorzea? So, are these truly ancient gods that have been around for millennia? Given available evidence, yes, I am inclined to. Yet none of this explains their presence. How and when did beings of such power come into existence? Hmm. Oh, it is you, Kryle. Has something happened? Truly? Very well. I shall take care of it. Ooh. Kryle has recruited an acquaintance to aid in our investigation. An authority on mythology. I must go and receive her at the Sunken Temple of Karn, where she is currently conducting fieldwork, after a brief detour to prepare... a little something. Conveniently, Thanalan is home to countless adherents of Nalthal. While I attend to business, may I ask the two of you to make inquiries in Uldah? Of course. Very well. Oh, Derek's not too... hype on that? Mm. Excellent. I will join you as soon as I'm able. By your leave. Mm -hmm. So, it's to be just you and me, Nilda. <sighs> I suppose it can't be helped. Why is he so averse to it, man? Chill. Apprehension is writ plain upon Derek's face. What strange manners for the one who proposed the survey to so promptly... to so promptly abandon it. I'll not lie. I'm not given to working one-on-one -on -one with another, but I suppose I agreed to this arrangement. Hmm. Oh. One theory is that they are the people who helped the Nat to summon Heidelin. That could be. I guess. Interesting. Gosh, this reminds me of like way, way back in like Shadowbringers. When I was doing the Shadowbringers MSQ, I came up with this wild ass theory that the 12 are like kind of the members of the convocation 
is like there's 14 members of the convocation, and there's 12 of the Eorzean gods. And two members of the convocation became Hydaelyn and Zodiar, respectively. So there would be 12 left to kind of fill in the spots for the uh, 12, you know. And that, I don't know, characteristics of the convocation members kind of stuck around in people's minds, even after the sundering and gave rise to the uh, perception of the Twelve. I don't know, but that seems to be moots now. I don't really know. But it was a very interesting theory that I was cooking up. <laughs> I was just like, hold on, hold on, let him cook. <laughs> Well, we'd best be on our way. As I recall, Milvanes Sacrarium is still closed for construction, so let us try our luck at Arzaneth Ossuary. You have no objection to traveling separately, I trust? Good. I shall see you in Uldoth. This man is truly a fucking loner. He really hates being around people. God damn. Just say you hate me already, dude. God. Okay, anyway. It's quite late, guys, and uh, I do need to get my beauty sleep, even though I am already very beautiful, as you can tell. <laughs> so I think I might end the stream here, unfortunately. While I would love to keep on going and do the second alliance raid with you guys, I feel like I need sleep. So I hope that's okay with you guys. But thank you so much for coming, everyone! I had a lot of fun! And I'm so happy that I managed to squeeze in a little stream before I leave for my little vacation. Either. Unfortunately, I'll be gone for an entire week from this Sunday to the next Sunday. But I'll be back after that. Back and ready to rumble again. And I have plans on um, starting a playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Yee. After which I will hop over and play Tears of the Kingdom as well, because I've been looking forward to playing that game for so long! Ah! And I figured it would be good to uh, replay Breath of the Wild, because it's literally been years since I last played it, and I've also never actually finished the game. So yeah. Figure I might as well. So I look forward to that. For those of you who are new here, or simply aren't aware, I have a Discord server that you can join, where we send a lot of memes and talk about games and uh, general tomfoolery. And if you want reliable notifications on when I go live, that's on Discord. If you want, you can also follow me on social media. Teehee. <laughs> you don't have to though. Unless. Done. <laughs> but yes. I will now take my leave. Yane Emina. Thank you so much for coming. I love you guys. Mwah! Thank <laughs> you.